welcome so in this video i'm going to take a look at this uh, livewire file manager package simple friendly and practical livewire file manager for your application i have opened the github repository of this uh, package so we have drag and drop files search for files or folders ready to include in any projects uh, multiple languages and dark mode available uh, php 8.2 or greater is required now here we have important composer dependencies because this is a live wire uh, package of course we need to have the live wire installed and uh, the spati laravel media library now for that i have created a laravel project and here is the project uh, let me open the web routes and here is an empty project is with a blade not with live wire also if i open the composer json file i have only the laravel installed as you can see okay good uh, let's close this and let's close also this one now let's uh, open that project in a terminal here in new tab sorry so the name was demo dot test and here is the project i'm going to zoom it for you so good now first i'm going to change so let's open the dot env file and i'm going to change here the database to be laravel because i don't have a database with a demo name okay next let's install this package i'm going to copy this uh, and paste in here okay next let's copy also this one and paste it of course this one i think we are okay then the php is on my grid and i'm going to copy and paste this one i'm going to choose fresh i think we are good next you need to use the x livewire file manager component where you want to place the file manager now for the styles and scripts the package relies on Tailwind css and alpine.js so if you don't already have them installed you can include the file manager scripts and Tailwind and so file manager styles so let me just copy this and here i'm going to open let's see let's open the resource uh, views and layouts i'm going to open the app layout i'm going to put the styles in here and i'm going to remove this app.js next the scripts okay which is going to be right here with a close and then the x file manager i'm going to put inside the dashboard so when where we have this login let me just zoom it for you i'm going to put this so in the dashboard blade okay next also let's add this one in the titan css config file so let's open the tiling config and put this right here i think we need also to run the npm run dev so let's just say npm run dev in here and let's see now if i open the project what we have a refresh go and register with the test test email and with the password and also password again register and here we are we have this so your root folder is not created and this folder will be your root folder of your file manager so let's add your first folder let's choose a name so for example the demo and i'm going to save this and at the end here i'm going to zoom it a little big and as you can see here is we are in the demo folder now let's choose and add the file 
Okay, I selected the file and here we have that file. First, as you can see, because this one, uh, no, let me just see in here. If we see the example, it's going to create uh, thumbnails, as you can see here. But in our project, we don't have the thumbnail because the thumbnail is created with uh, by that uh, Spotty package. And that Spotty package uses the GUI job to create thumbnails. So for that, we need to open again the .env file and change the quick connection from database to be a sync for now. Okay. And I'm going to first let's delete this uh, file. Let's delete this. And I'm going to hard refresh and add the new file. And now is created the thumbnail. It's looking very good. We can click, we can see the name. This is an image PNG and also the size. Information created and modified. Also, we have this copy URL of the file. Now, if I click here, nothing happened. So I click, but nothing is going to happen. And why is this? Because now this is a uh, Alpine.js error. So let me just inspect the element and go to the console. I'm going to zoom it here and let's select this file. Let's see, copy the URL. Yeah, read in right text. And this is because we need. So let me just show you go to sites in if you use the that I've heard and for example I, I am in this demo test and this one we need to make a protected and now let me just see if I hard refresh this is protected right now so just let me see HTTPS okay now if I click and if I click to the copy the copy URL of the file now link copy it to clipboard and we can uh, open a new tab paste that in we have 404 not found don't worry if i go back and go here so we left right here so if you intend to give access to your files with the public you can add this inside your web routes so let's copy this and Open the web route and paste this. So I'm going to paste it down there and let me just zoom it for you. Paste this one. I'm going to zoom it a little bit more. And yeah, we need to import the controller. And now let's close. And let's see if I come here where we have this 404 not found and refresh. Now we have the file right here with the close and let's open one more time hard refresh let's uh, add a new file okay let's see copy the link open your tab paste that link hit enter and yeah everything works correctly also you can create a, fo a folder here so for example Tony folder and in, now we are inside the Tony just see here we have no elements inside if I click that was a click and add the file okay now we have the file here and yeah everything works we can go back and now Tony folder has one element. This is the demo of this uh, Livewire file manager uh, package, which is uh, very nice. And of course, with Livewire, we can create uh, great applications. And that's it all about this video. What I wanted to show you, just don't forget if you like such a videos, subscribe to my channel, like the video, share with your friends, and see you in the next one. All the best.